Today we review Independence Day from 1996 for Harry Movie Club. This movie is written and directed by Roland Emmerich. He also directed uh, the Godzilla from 1998 to 2012. Roland Emmerich seems to enjoy destroying uh, noticeable American landmarks. Uh, the Statue of Liberty and White House Down he directed also, so the White House has been taken out twice in his films. And I believe in 2012 also the White House gets taken out. I haven't watched that in a while though. The movie has many famous stars. We have Bill Pullman, he plays the president. We have Will Smith, he is Captain Stephen Hiller. Jeff Goldblum plays David Levinson, the one that figures out that they're actually doing a countdown and they're definitely not here in peace. And I remembered the character, but I didn't know who I would actually play him. We also have Judd Hirsch here. Judd Hirsch, he plays the father of yet another uh, kind of genius type person. He is in numbers as Charlie's father. Here he is. The Julius Levinson, who is the father of David, and we also have Randy Quaid. He's really the first one that's able to penetrate the alien ship and give a hard hit home for us. And this is character is Russell Cass. He's Cousin Eddie from the Vacation series. The movie's great. It has uh, some memorable lines. Will Smith is always good. I really like him in this film as well. In this and Jurassic Park, Jeff Goldblum's characters do seem kind of similar to each other, just, just the eccentric genius type that is definitely worried about everything and ends up being right in the end. Independence Day is a rather long film, however uh, the pacing through it felt pretty good for me. There were things you probably could have skipped and just did a back exposition or you could have really cut out Randy Quaid's character Russell Cass, but it was a great part of it. He brought a little humor to it and the movie is uh, written and directed by Roland Emmerich and I feel like when you write and direct it the movie is better because you know exactly what you're looking for. And in this movie, the shots are great. With most of his films, they're great depth shots with a huge scope. When the alien craft comes in and it goes to the fire, it looks great. Uh, the effects are really good. This ship still looks pretty awesome. The sky in the background sometimes is a little off, but it isn't really too off-putting. This definitely does still hold up, and it is a fun film to watch. It's two and a half hours. Sometimes there were things that I believe could have been chopped out. But overall, that didn't affect my enjoyment of the film. This week's Harry Movie Club pick, Independence Day, is a keep. Like I said, it is for Harry Movie Club, so if you want to check out the other submissions, there's going to be a playlist, and the annotation to that is here. Click on it to check out the others. And feel free to comment down below. Reach me on Twitter, at MadLFan, using hashtag TodayWeReview. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out the other Harry Movie Club entries.